Hey, everybody. Okay, this is on. Hello, hello. Can we hear me? Thank you guys for the patience. Gronk is in the building. So welcome everybody to FanDuel, our set here in Phoenix. And we are, of course are here for the Kick of Destiny press conference. I'm Kay Adams. I host Up and Adams on FanDuel TV. Thank you all for being here. Uh, and I've worked with Gronk now almost all season since the partnership happened uh, back in late fall for the Kick of Destiny. And if I've learned one thing about him, he loves, he doesn't need an introduction, but he loves an introduction. So let's give a big round of applause for a four-time Super Bowl champion, five-time Pro Bowler, and kicker, I guess. Rob Gronkowski is here, everybody. <laughs> wow. Can we do one this way so they can get... Oh, no. And we got a hammy. Medic. All right, we got a... I tweaked a little bit there. Shouldn't have done that. We got a microphone for you ready. Yes. This is the kick of destiny. I am so excited. When FanDuel announced this campaign back in December, you've been doing commercials with Adam Vinatieri. I got to spotlight in one of them, and it all leads up to what's going on on Sunday. I want to make it very clear. This is happening during the Super Bowl in a live commercial. I just heard backstage. I didn't know this before. Did you know this was in the third quarter? Yes, I, I knew oh. that. I was not privy yes, to that I'm, information. I'm sorry. It's okay. I don't know where this is happening. I have a lot of questions for you, but it's very exciting, and it gets even better because there are $10 million in bonus bets on the line. I want to get this right. Any customer, any customer who places a Super Bowl bet of $5 or more on FanDuel will win a share of $10 million in bonus bets if Rob Gronkowski kicks the field goal. If. Yeah, I don't like that if. Yeah. When he kicks that field goal. When he makes that field goal, baby. Because I'm going to make that field goal for America. Let's do it. <laughs> If you, have, if you have faith in Rob Gronkowski <laughs> kicking that field goal, let's hear it. Put your hands together. Oh, I don't know. That's the loudest I ever heard media members, so I'm feeling pretty <laughs> good about it. I'm feeling pretty good about it. Thank you, guys. Rob, how are you feeling, though? I know we had a media spot where I'm joking about, are you nervous? Are you sure you're not? How are you feeling? I actually was nervous the other day because it was getting closer. Yes, two months ago when the whole campaign was put together, I was practicing at first. I was absolutely awful. I mean, my percentage of making it was probably about 20%. And when it did go through with that 20%, it was like, it was kind of lucky. Like, it was it was a terrible kick still. It just went straight. It was, it was basically spiraling. I, I'm kicking the football and it's spiraling. Like I'm throwing a pass. That's Ooh. what it looks like at some points. Like, and it's still going through sometimes. I'm just saying. But uh, last week I was nervous when I was practicing, though. Let me tell you that because it was getting, it was inching closer and closer day by day to the kick of destiny this Sunday, and it started hitting me. Wow, am I ready? Am I going to be ready? And I was like. Ugh, get those nerves out like I was while I was practicing so I am a little nervous I was I'm not right now two months ago I wasn't at all but I'm sure when Sunday comes I'll be having those nerves like it, it was game day like back in the day when we announced this a couple of months ago now over a month ago I, I joked with you and said I think you should do it barefoot and I heard backstage that you're wanting to do it in different kind of shoes. Take me through the shoes on this thing. All right. No, I'm not going to do it barefoot. First off, I need that extra support with the shoe as well. And uh, I was thinking about kicking it with my toe style at first because when I was in high school, I was the kicker my sophomore and junior year in high school. And I actually got the film. It's on my phone now. And I made one field goal in my life. It was a 28-yarder. I kept saying it was a 33-yarder, but it was a 28-yarder when I was a sophomore in high school. And uh, I was towing I was also the guy that kicked it off the tee um, on kickoff so I was thinking about towing it and then you asked me at the time are you going to do a barefoot and I was like absolutely not like yeah. my toe hurts still from those high school days there's no chance I'm going to do a barefoot and I didn't understand what you meant by barefoot because you can actually do right. a barefoot when you do it sideways soccer style but having the support of the shoe kind of gives me an extra boost so I'm not at the barefoot level yet maybe in a year or two when I keep practicing after this kick because if I'm do miss it somehow, which I'm not planning on missing. I think I'm going to have to do double or nothing, even if it's my own money. Whoa, you heard it here yeah, first, people. I, double I or nothing. I can't let America down. I got to pay off my debts if we I got to find it. a football field yes. in Vegas for that one, for the Super Bowl yes. next year. But um, no, so I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use a shoe. And I'm actually, I'm basically going to use this shoe right here, but it's going to be all white to match the FanDuel. It's Wolf and Shepherds. I, I, they're the most comfortable shoes that are out there. I love them so much. And uh, I wear them everywhere. Dress shoes, you can wear them while working out. I mean, I do. You're not supposed to. But I'm going to have a pair of Wolf and, Shep Wolf and Shepherds on, all white, looking nice and clean. I'm going to put that right through the uprights. 
Are you visualizing it? Talk me through your mental preparation for this kick on Sunday with the kick of destiny. Yes, you definitely got to be mentally ready for it. There's a lot of challenges when kicking a field goal. Uh, and I have just so much, a new found of respect for these kickers out there in the NFL. It's actually like mind blowing now. It's surreal just how these kickers can go out there just 55 yards away from the field goal post and just drain it right down the middle with uh, with room to move back to like 60 yards possibly or 65 yards on some of their kicks. Uh, it's definitely an art to do what they do. There's so much more that goes into it that you have no idea about. And uh, it's really frustrating at first as well when you start. Yeah. You gotta keep your shoulders square. You gotta point your foot. You gotta follow through. You gotta make sure it hits the right area of your foot. You gotta follow through all the way through the top. And it's just a lot. You gotta plant your foot in the right spot in uh, in order to do it. And if you if you plant too far to the left, then you're not gonna hit it the same than, than you were hitting it uh, on the previous one. So there's so much that goes into it. It can get very frustrating practicing, but uh, it's fun though. When you start making, it's like golf. You're absolutely terrible at first, mm -hmm. but when you start making them shots and they you, you put a drive right down the middle, it's a great feeling, just like making a field goal. And you're doing this, as you say, for America, but really for $10 million in bonus bets uh, for all customers over on FanDuel. And there's some stipulations. Please head to our social media pages for all of those. I'm not surprised because you are a four-time Super Bowl champion. You are an elite player mentally, physically. You're taking this so seriously. To sit here with you, and it's jokes, and it's for America, and they're, you, you're so into this, I am I feel like if you make it, you're gonna return to the NFL as a kicker. I'm just saying it right here. Yes, I actually did say that yesterday. Oh. I, I had the little media day with Fox yesterday and they asked me, Rob, what if you make the kick? You, would you go back and play football? And I was like, only if Jerry Jones gives me a call, <laughs> I will go back so I can be the kicker for the Dallas Cowboys. That's I mean, what I had wants. to throw it out there. So many people ask, so that's the only chance I'll go back to football. I'll unretire in that situation, but I got to hit the field goal first. What's the warm-up song, or when you're visualizing this, are you going to have a walk-up song when you oh. take the kick? What, what, what's in store? I'm not sure. I yeah. haven't gotten that far yet. I didn't even know that that was an option. So now that, that's, that, that's an option. I mean, what's a walk-up song for someone that's going to kick a field goal? I mean... Usually it's just crowd noise. They never yeah. get a walk-up song. It's not like baseball, you know, you're going up to the plate. You could, though. In this situation, it's kind of like that, actually. I mean, you're kind of grown. I'm going from, like, the batter's box to, like, do you see that to stepping you up see to the this? plate. When you see this, do yes. you, what do you, what do you make of that? I love it, you know. Look, look at that <laughs> chest. That chest is firm. It looks good. You, I mean, you're, yeah. you went through another pair of pants in this graphic, yes. Gronk. I mean, I love those graphics. Okay. It's I a little bit... Mm, it's it's all real. Yeah, <laughs> it's all real. Okay, I need to know if you know the location of the kick and how. I think is anybody wondering how long the field goal is going to be? I am. Yeah. So the field goal is going to be 25 yards, and um, it, it's far. 25 yards is far, especially if you don't kick field goals. And uh, I practice. I accidentally practiced at the very beginning, like three months ago, or two months ago, on some high school field goal posts. And then when I got to an NFL field and I started practicing more. And I started looking at those goalposts, the NFL goalposts, and let me tell you, it's th those are skinny. Like it's intimidating. Yeah, it's intimidating, very intimidating. They're just, it's like shrunken. Like it, it's very difficult. I mean, with how skinny the NFL posts are, so it's going to be a challenge. Uh, it's a fun challenge, and uh, I'm pretty sure the location of the shoot is in the middle of the desert somewhere as well. <laughs> Yes. What? Yeah. Oh. Around here. Around, okay. Yeah, around On the here. field somewhere in Arizona, everybody. We're going to get questions from the press. We thank you guys for showing up and for your patience as we celebrate the kick of destiny. FanDuel has a lot of fun stuff going on. We've got big plans. This guy, what, 6'7", six, 6'6"? Six, six? I'm about 6'6 six, six and a half. Unbelievable. Biggest kicker in history. <laughs> he is certainly a part of that. And I wanted to talk to you about this FanDuel partnership. You're an exclusive brand partner. That happened in December, so it's still pretty new. But this all happened very fast. What made you want to work with FanDuel? Yes, it did all happen very fast. But uh, FanDuel, they're, they're top of the line in the sports betting area. and. Um, as you can see, the last 11 years in the NFL, I like to be on winning winning teams, championship teams. With the Patriots, we had all those championships that we had. Um, going to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, we started a championship culture. 
um, there as well. Won that championship, the Super Bowl, two years ago. Now I'm not playing anymore, and I want to be part of a championship culture. And uh, FanDuel, you know, brings that to the table. And uh, I love bringing my aspect, my personality, my willingness to be able to accept challenges like this um, and just add – you know, my portion to the FanDuel team because FanDuel is a championship team and I love to be part here, of here. championships, baby. Let's go. Woo! Woo! Love it. Kick a destiny just a couple of days away. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I want to ask you. Obviously, we could talk about the Super Bowl. Did you make your pick yet, Gronk? Yes, I'm going to go with the Philadelphia Eagles. Everyone's been asking all week, so I've made the pick already. I think they're going to win uh, 31 to 24. But um, <laughs> the Eagles, they just been uh, dominating all year long. Uh, especially in the trenches. They got a great offensive line uh, with Jason Kelsey leading the way, and then they also have a very talented defensive line. So if you can dominate the trenches, you can dominate games. Those Kelsey brothers. Yeah. This, you have to pick between, you know, is Travis mad at you about this? Uh, I'm not sure if Travis is mad at me or not, you know. I mean, I'd rather have Travis mad at me than Jason because Jason's bigger and he throws guys around for a living. So that's why I'm picking the Eagles, really. Got that's it. really why. Now, is Gronk Beach happening before the kick? Because that's going to play into yes, yes. your, your mental <laughs> Yes. So everyone's wondering, all the sports bettors out there that are trying to bet on the kick, but I don't even think you can bet on the kick in America. I, I don't have that information. Anybody know that? But I think we have. We can't. You no, cannot see? do that. Yeah, no. You can't bet on we the got kick. a harsh no from our yes, family over yes. at FanDuel. Okay. I think we're going to change so, things but, up a bit. Are we good? But Gronk Beach yes. may play a part in it. We'll wait, 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 wait. What does may. that mean? Is there a DJ? No. Well, Grand Beach is happening the day before. So yeah. whatever happens there may spill into Sunday. Like, oh, boy. Yeah. I think you're going to nail it. Hopefully I get it. some sleep. I think Maybe you're going to nail it. Me. I think you should yes. do it once. And it's live. It's a Super Bowl commercial. It's all very exciting. I think you do it. You do it again barefoot. Yes. I think you do, too. Are, we, are there any surprises that might happen? Any uh, cameos? Not that I know of. Oh. Not that I know of. I love it. We are going to open it up to some media members. Thank you guys yeah, for coming to this press conference. Let's hear it. All right, thanks everyone. We're going to be calling on people one at a time to come up here and ask a question. Um, TSN, if you want to come up here first. All right. Let's see, boardroom. All right. You spoke about, uh, hey, Gronk, just wanted to say hello to you real quick. What's up, my man? How you doing? We're good. That's not the question, sorry. Um, I'm Gabe from Boardroom. It's a sports business platform. Just had a question for you. You mentioned talking, uh, playing for the Cowboys. Wanted to know. Super Bowl MVP for the Cowboys, would you rather have that or make the kick of destiny? Oh, man. Oh, that's a great question. So you're saying if I had a pick, like, if, if, like next year, if I had a choice between the kick of destiny or winning a Super Bowl with the Cowboys and being Super Bowl MVP. Correct. Wow. That's a really tough question. That is a tough and you, question. And you kicked the uh, game-winning field goal in that, in, in that uh, oh Super Bowl. Oh, my gosh. Oh, man. That is a tough question because this kick is for America. Say both. So, so it, hold on. I'm going to get to that. I'm, this kick is for America, so America wins $10 million if I make it. But Dallas is America's team. Ooh, yeah. So I'm kind of going to combine them both because you said I get to kick the field goal to win the game as well in the Super Bowl. So I'm going to go with the Dallas Cowboys and winning the M MVP of the game and kicking the game-winning field goal. Thank you so much, Glenn. Yes. Great yes, question. Yes, no problem. And you can bet on the game then if I'm in Dallas, yeah. too. Yeah, so you can bet that I'm going to kick that winning field goal. I like this, man. I'll, I'll pick the we'll Cowboys. Yeah. Shout out to Boardroom. Yeah, Boardroom, what a crazy question. I like Hi. it. I'm Malte from uh, Germany, um, and I would like to ask you about Tom Brady, if, if you may. Yes. Who's that? I, I, you tell me. Oh, oh, he played in Germany this year. That's why he you did. know him. He did. So what's your advice to him uh, now that he's retired? What is your one advice you would give to him? I mean, the one advice I would give being a two-time retiree, and then he had to copy my, my path and retire two times as well because he knew it was such greatness doing that. But uh, the one advice, you know, I would give him uh, is to take some time off. You know, I mean, I'm not going to speak for Tom what he should do, but just going through my situation, I mean, and he played for 25 years in the NFL, is take some time off and learn how to say no as well. I mean, I'm sure he's getting absolutely bombarded with requests. Obviously, he's the greatest player of all time. He's probably getting requests left and right to do things. Endorsements, TV-wise, I would say take some time off, say no, um, and just relax a little bit before you get into your next venture. Thanks. Yes. 
Hi, Rob. I heard you've been getting some help from Adam Vinatieri throughout this process. How would you describe his coaching style and what type of pointers has he given you? Yes, Adam Vinatieri is a great guy. And uh, what, what has impressed me the most is how he has taken his athletic game to the next level. He's extremely jacked. He's got quads that are defined. It looks like he has four different quads because they're so defined. Uh, just the way that he's working out, he's an absolute animal. So it's just an inspiration that he's about 50 years old and he works out like that uh, to this day, even after his football career. So that was really cool. And uh, he's a great coach, a great friend. Um, and when we were shooting and he was giving me pointers and everything, I mean, it was about two months away from the kick, so he wasn't dead serious yet, which was fun, which was, which was great. And uh, the one pointer he really gave me, which has been, you know, stuck in my mind and it's been benefiting me big time, is to keep my foot pointed when you follow through, when you go to the kick. Because at first I was kicking Dorsey flex like that, and it was just awful. The kicks were going 10 yards left, 10 yards right. It was bad. But when you keep your foot pointed through and you follow through with it, and then in the end it stays pointed, uh, you get a, the percentage goes up and you hit the ball a lot cleaner as well. And you hit it where you need to hit it. So keep my toe pointed uh, all the way was, was the best tip he gave me and it has been helping me out big time. never learned so much about kicking oh there's so this much there's so much involved in kicking like that was just one pointer there's just so much more like i would just respect the kicking game like to another level hey rob mike mccarthy from front office sports uh, good luck on the kick from all of us uh, we can't wait to watch it question for you we've noticed you uh, on fox and tom is also joining fox could we see the two of you calling games together next season Yes. Uh, so I think he's going to take a little time off, which is great for him. He definitely deserves it. And uh, from what I've read or heard that he's going to join the booth in 2024. And, um, you know, you, you really don't know what the future holds, but I can definitely, you know, see something like that happening. I, I don't see myself calling the game like him. I like being the analyst, you know, being in the studio at the desk, you know, using my personality, the uh, you know, bring some fun and creative ideas to the table to uh, teach the game of football and just of what I think about the games and stuff and, and of football. But he's going to be in the booth commentating on games. I'm, I'm not at that level. That's not my style. That's 100% his. But I can see us collabing in a way where I can go up to the booth, right. maybe just like I'm on the sideline and I go up to him. So I can definitely see that happening. I mean, we got this week, um, you know, the Super Bowl we're really focused on. And um, the Fox, the creative team there, all the guys in the, that run the show, that produce the show, they do such a great job with great ideas and the creativity right. that I'm sure they're going to come up with something where we interact and, uh, and have a good time with it. Rob, should we expect Tom to pop up no, uh, this time? Nope. Moving on. Sorry. Thank you. Hey, Rob. Uh, what does the University of Arizona mean to you? You know, if Arizona yes. is the Super Bowl that. You're a wildcat, man. I've got family members that are wildcats. What does this mean to you? Yes. You, I love the University of Arizona. You know, it'll always have a place in my heart. Uh, I went there. I knew I was going to go there throughout my whole high school career. Once I visited U of A, um, I knew that's the school I belonged to. I, I went there last year. Coach Jed Fish is uh, – I went to a game last year versus USC. Coach Jed Fish is just doing a great job with the program right now. He's bringing it to another level, and hopefully they have a winning season this year and go to a bowl game. I don't see why not. They've been improving every single year. And just to show you how much it means to me and how dedicated I am to the University of Arizona that I love to rep them wherever I go. So check out my oh, – check out this go. right here, baby. Check it out. So I, I went right there to get a picture of that. Gotcha, man. <laughs> I saw the helicopter catch too, man. Yes. Great stuff. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So love the U of A. Love supporting them. And um, when I went to the Arizona uh, the game this year, they actually inducted me into the Arizona Bowl Hall of Fame and gave me this jacket. So the first one ever. And uh, love the colors. It actually represents the FanDuel it color. It does. Spot on. And that's why I wore it as well. So two, you're knocking two, two out in one, U of A and FanDuel. So. Go Wildcats, bear down. Bear down, baby. Good to see you. Yes, you too, ma'am. Hey, guys. Bob McMahon. I'm an Arizona Republic. Welcome. Uh, let me get this straight. You're not going to kick at the Super Bowl. It's off-site. Yes. There'll be no yes. pressure on you whatsoever. Wouldn't you, don't you need to kick this in the stadium like a normal kicker? I mean, Come I 100% agree. I thought I was going to be kicking it in the stadium during the game, but due to legal reasons and all the other good stuff that – it wouldn't happen. I am down to kick it in front of the 60,000 people and get booed if I missed it or get cheered if I made it. But unfortunately, that 
the, the legal teams for the NFL and everything, they're not letting that happen. But I am down, uh, whoever's listening, if whoever can make that happen for the next one, I am down to do it. Hey, Rob, thanks so much for being here. Todd Grazley from Florida National News. What's your favorite part about Super, week, so Super Bowl week now that you're not playing? The, the favorite part is just the atmosphere, the energy that's brought to the whole table throughout the Super Bowl week. I love that, you know, you got media row right here at the convention center. I also love, what, what's it called, yeah. where you go and play all the games? NFL experience. Yes, the NFL experience. That's really cool. That's great for fans. That's great for families. That's great for kids to go to the NFL experience. I think we have a booth there as well where you can kick the field goal um, going through my hands. So just to be able to experience, you know, how NFL players live, go in their locker room, see what it's all like. Uh, just love that whole aspect. And then also all the parties you can go to, um, day parties, night parties, just, just everything just from the, exp the experience. If you're just a fan, uh, it's the best place to be during Super Bowl week. You, there's so much to do uh, for family-wise or if you want to go out. It just doesn't matter. Uh, this is the place to be uh, throughout the whole week. Hey Rob, I'm Dominic from Germany. Uh, we will have two games next season uh, there. You have a very big fan base in Germany. Will we see you there? Yes. Um, I, I have no plans to go to a game in Germany this year. Um, as of right now, I don't. I'm not even sure who the two teams, who the who the four teams that are playing there next year. Chiefs and Patriots. All right. Are both, both home teams. Okay, so you know that, that that's some good teams right there. I, I know the Patriots are pretty big in Germany as well, but um, you never know. There could be a possibility for me to go out there um, if it makes sense. Um, Can I, I interject really yes. quick. Yes. Hey, fan. The, the correct answer is FanDuel. Let's take this show on the road, baby. Let's take yes. this thing international and get this kicker yes. over there to Germany. There we go. That is the correct answer. We need FanDuel to bring me there and do a do an NFL experience and kick field goals with me before the game. That's what we need to do. Bang, so bang. It's a possibility of something yeah. like that. that okay. Yes, there's a chance. There's a chance. Hey, Rob. Haley Carnia from Outkick here. I know you're, you know, a thing or two about sibling, sibling rivalry. Any message of advice you can give to the Kelsey brothers and their family going into this weekend? Yes. Uh, I would say to their parents, stay neutral. You know, you don't want to cause a fight. And then uh, some advice to Jason and Travis is to kick each other's butts <laughs> as hard as you can. Give it all you got. Smash the other one in the face. Even though they're not going versus each other, smash the other one in the face and talk as much garbage as you, as you can. That's what my brothers and I would do, and uh, I'm sure they're doing that as well. They're great dudes. Thank you. Yes. Hey, Gronk. Uh, I know your friend is uh, Barstool Sports, Dave Portnoy, the pizza guy. I'm the pizza diet guy. Let's do a fight on FanDuel. Bet on me. I eat nothing but pizza. I know it's your guy. Let's hook it up, man. No, no. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I love pizza, too. I, who <laughs> I love meat pizza. All the meats <laughs> and cheese. Go, boy. Hey, Rob. Um, what are some current or former uh, NFL players, non-kickers, who you think would make good kickers? Oh, oh well, Chad Ojosinko right there. He has kicked an extra point. Uh, he's a good kicker. And uh, that's what's so great about this kick. Chad Ojosinko, when he made that kick, Right when we came up with this idea and campaign, he was the first one that was brought to my mind, and fans loved that he tried the extra point in the preseason. And then another guy is uh, Justin Reed, the safety for the Houston Texans. Mm -hmm. Am I correct on that? Uh, he has, he, his kicker, yeah, the, he went down, the, their kicker went down this year, and he did the kickoffs a couple times for the Houston Texans. So he would be really good, too. All right, looks like we have time for one more question. Hi, Gronk. Um, I'm from the Sports Animal in Albuquerque, New Mexico. I was wondering, you're going to kick it? Are you going to go run down and Gronk spike it? Yes. Whoa. <laughs> that, that's actually a great question, and that's a great idea now. But it's not a kickoff, so I don't have to run down and tackle anyone. We're going for a field goal. So usually when you kick a field goal, someone goes and retrieves the ball for you, and you just celebrate. So if I make it, I'm going to eventually going to go. i got to eventually find the ball or go run and grab it eventually. Whenever I get to it, and I got to Gronk spike that ball after the make. So that's a great idea. Thank you. You're welcome. Yes. 
Okay, thank you. Thank you, everyone, for stopping by, for the patience, the enthusiasm. But I need everybody to give a round of applause to Rob Gronkowski here. Yes. Let's cheer him on on this epic kick of destiny. It is happening on Sunday. Make sure to place your $5 bet over on FanDuel. All customers getting a part of a $10 million bonus bet situation. You, no pressure at all, huh? You got no, this. No pressure. Can we see it's a little? Just for can we see just one little kick before? You did it on the way out here. Yes. Let's do it this way so everybody can get on camera. Yes. All, all right. right. Let, oh, boy. Don't Thank kick me, Thank you guys though. for coming out. This I think Wonderful. we'll do a bit of a photo opportunity still with the helmet. Okay, great. Do you guys want to stick around and get a photo of Gronk with the helmet? We can do that. So, uh, so uh oh. Actually, uh, let me describe. So the three step was a little bit too harsh. I was very inaccurate. It was very tough to do the actual three step where they take three steps. So I'm actually only going to be doing one step. One step. Yeah, so I'm just stepping one step into it. Since it's only 25 yards, I, I'm able to have enough power. So still, no but Gronkowski, just Gronk. Yes, That's it. Just the one stepper. Right? There we go. That's a good point. And, uh, I'm a lot more accurate in, in, in doing just the one step. So I'm going to stick to the one step. So people might be a little bit thrown off with that. But I'm going to only do a one step because it's only 25 yards. And I'm not to the point where I can do three yet. So I'll show you, I'll kind of show you right now what, what it's going to be All like. right, put your hands together for Gronk, everybody. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. with the one bar you're smoking your cigarette like smoking your cigarette like back in the day with the one bar guy because i'm a true kicker i smoke cigarettes yeah. please don't hurt yourself all right so i'm gonna have the ball i learned you gotta have it right there that far away right there and you line up to where you want to kick it exactly so then i want to hit it right here and then i go one big one To the side. Line up. Stay tall. Keep the shoulders straight. Keep them parallel with the goalpost. Come through. One step and then swing through. Oh, keep my head down. Keep your head down. And then look up and watch it go right through the goalpost. That's how it's done. That's how it's done. Thank you, everybody. We'll see you on Sunday for the Kick of Destiny with FanDuel.